I keep a close watch on this heart of mine. Let's take another crazy trip around the sun. Country music is hotter than ever. We all know the big names, Cash, Carter, Chesney, and Underwood. Those are just a few, but do you really know how country music got its start? Well, Ken Burns wants to tell you. He's got a new 16-hour documentary that traces the history of American country music. And if there's anybody who could do it, it's Burns. He's a one-man look into America's past with docs on war, politics, history, and sports, but now he's opening the songbook of country music. Here's Adrian. You can dance to it, you can make love to it. The rhythm of country music is about love Crazy. and loss. And in his 16 and a half hour documentary, Ken Burns strikes a chord. I got the horses in the back. While some tried to keep little Nas X out, in this series, we learn country music has always been home to African-American artists. From its instrumentation to vocal, Burns says it's a genre that was influenced by African-Americans. We want to segregate it and make it a southern, white, rural, conservative force. And it may have those elements in it, but what matters is it is popular from Maine to San Diego. It was poor people's music. Scott Harold owns the record label Rock the Cause. He also says the black influence on country music starts with the banjo. When people from West Africa were first brought to this country, obviously as slaves, um, when they came, they also used local found materials like gourds, pieces of lumber, lumber broom handles, etc., and uh, they built instruments. So sometimes the, our aspects of guitars, bass, or even the banjo came from West African slaves coming to America using found objects like a gourd and being able to build a gut string instrument out of it. Harold teaches the business of music at the High School for Recording Arts in St. Paul. Country is a big piece of music history lessons. And if you get up around the Iron Range areas, folk music is big up there. I mean, probably one of the most you know, famous musicians that we have out of the Iron Range is Bob Dylan. And that music has its origins in folk, which there were a lot of the structures of the folk music that he borrowed from, country artists like Hank Williams, etc. Combine those with fiddles, other guitars and things that came over with European settlers who came into West Virginia, Kentucky, etc. And all of a sudden you've got the, introdu the introduction of a banjo, which really originates from an, uh, a West African mood. Burns says this documentary is revealing of us. Both the U.S., the uppercase, and us, the lowercase, the kind of sense of who we are together. The documentary Country Music features never before seen footage and photographs, plus interviews with more than 80 country music artists. You can see the eight part 16 hour series, 16 hours on PBS.